Cost you time. Cost you time. Cost you prayer. Cost you communication with God for an idea. That is the gold, the diamonds, the oil of the future. And will you be ready? So let's get into it. I just thought that was on my heart that somehow, some way, I want God to use me to stir up the ideas in you, to stir up the dreams in you, to help to prepare a generation for the next frontier. So I thank you for welcoming me here. I feel like I'm at home. I know I don't look that much like everybody. It's probably just my blonde hair. <laughs> but that's Claremont 1038. <laughs> I said I'm going to dye my hair till I, till I die. You know what I'm saying? Just be blonde the rest of my life. But I just want to thank you. Just thank you. So let's get into our topic. Seasons of success. I want to talk to you a little bit about seasons. I know that here in Nigeria you have two seasons. Are they the dry and the rainy season? Okay, but I need to talk to you a little bit about our seasons in the U.S. Many of you are familiar with the spring, summer, fall, and winter, yes? I, I tried to do my little research and try to figure out your seasons, but it's just like, you know, now we change, you know? We're going to be dry or we're going to be rainy. And there's something going on in between, but I couldn't quite figure it out. So I'm going to go with what I know. Is that okay? Yeah. So everybody's with me on summer, spring, spring, summer, winter, and fall, right? Yeah. We have four seasons in the U.S. And you have to apply it to your own season. But I think in a spiritual way, you will understand and you'll begin to watch and see what God is doing. God uses physical things to make spiritual points. What again? Physical things. Things in your environment. Things that you see. He uses those as prototypes, as shadows of things to come. Things that are in the spirit. So the first place I want to define, I think you all have it right. There are only two seasons. Everything else in between are transitional periods. A season never comes without warning. It's amazing. In the U.S., when we're in winter, look, we know we're in winter. When we go to spring, spring is nothing more than a transitional period. It is moving us and letting us know what is coming. Do you see? So one day you wake up, it's uh, 16 degrees Celsius.